Hi guys, Steady Eddie here, this time with a brief look at the nightlife scene in Koh Samui. Well, there are two main nightlife areas to look at in Koh Samui. This here is Lamai, which I'll come back to later. But first of all, we're going to take a look at Chiwang. So this here is the Chiwang Beach area, which uh, is probably not as lively as it should be, but we, you know, we're recovering from the pandemic, so nothing's what it should be. But there is still plenty of life of a nighttime here. There is a very, very young crowd, but there's also some good bars which cater for the older people. You walk through this area of a daytime and you know it looks really really dead and nothing happening but of a night time it does come to life what bothers me is the amount of rubbish piled high in the streets i really wish they'd do something about that no oh, samui is supposed to be a lovely island with piles of rubbish in the streets it it doesn't look so good anyway here we are this this area here is it's lively, there's plenty of really good, well-run bars here. You've got Delaney's Irish Bar. You go anywhere in the world and there'll always be an Irish pub. And this place here, the Islander, this is a very popular place, this. Uh, really because it's so good, I mean, they serve really great, great food. They're lovely food, and I will be reviewing that in another video. In fact, of, a, of, a, of an evening time, you know, it's it's extremely popular. You know, you can hardly get a seat there. More rubbish. So it appears that some places are doing really well, some are doing not so well, and some are probably closed due to the pandemic. Oh, he looks happy. At least he's happy anyway. The thing is, this this is uh, surprisingly lively of a nighter. There's the McDonald's closed. There's two McDonald's in this area, and both of them are closed. So down this area here, you have a cluster of bars, uh, which are either girly bars or bars for young people. It's obviously not as lively as it should be, but there is still plenty of life here, plenty going on. There's a, a distinct lack of customers in the girly bars, which makes them very, very difficult for me to film. If I walk past them with my camera, I kind of stand out like a sore thumb. Well, there's lots of young people here. They seem happy enough. And this place down here, this is this is really really lively. I mean, there are, you know there are lots of, lots of young people there, and they they seem to be having a good time. The Green Mango Club. I don't want to be filming young people, you, you know, I don't want to be going in there and, and filming places like that because obviously this YouTube channel is aimed at uh, the older crowd. So, but yeah, I mean, it's, you know, there is plenty of life in this place anyway. So for the older guy who probably wants to know, are there any nice ladies available here? Well, yes, there are. There are some nice ladies. I've seen them. But, you know, the, the girly bars are pretty sad, really. I mean, they, um, you, you know, I'm, I'm re a bit reluctant to go in them because there's no other customers. And I don't always feel in the mood to get hassled by, you know, half a dozen women. You know, sometimes it can be a bit overbearing that. The girly bars have certainly taken a knock here. That's the way it looks to me. Oh, 
now this looks good this looks good who can possibly resist a bar called the Hendrix bar now this is down a little side street here there's a couple of girly bars down this way but this is the Hendrix bar a well set up establishment lovely stuff great pictures of Hendrix outside I love the design all the psychedelic stuff If you want a late night bar which it plays all your classic favourites, then this is the one for you. Hendrix, what an amazing musician he was. Will there ever be another like him? So there are a great bunch of lads here who, who run this bar. Drinks are reasonably priced. And they've got a great music system and they'll play anything you want. Any of your anachronistic headbanging favourites, they'll play them for you. This is a really, really cool bar, and I like it a lot. Okay, off to the mine now in a taxi. Now the taxis range anything between 300 and 500 baht. Lamai, it's a fair way away. I, I made it a good 20 minutes from Chuang Beach. Now, when you first arrive here, obviously everything looks very, very quiet. Not many customers, not many bars open. But when you get into the place, there is actually a fair bit of life. And what have we got here? A street party. I believe this is all for one of the girls who works in the bars. You know, it's her birthday, so they've laid on a big street a street party. Lots of balloons around, a bit of free food on offer, if you like that sort of thing. A really nice, lively band in the middle there. Is that Ozzy Osbourne, is it? So if you go down these little side streets here in Lamai, there's plenty of girly bars knocking around. And this place here, Speed Lounging Bar, I really like this place. They've got a great live band there, a very, very nice place. And these are really, really good. They're playing some of the rock classics. You've got this fiery little singer here with their tattoos. I kind of wondered if Janis Joplin was around these days, would she have tattoos? I'm sure she would. Well, I must say, I, I am always impressed by a really fine guitarist. But that doesn't mean to say that I want him to come off the stage and serenade me with his guitar solo. He's doing Guns N' Roses November Rain here, by the way. So it's back to the street party, and things appear to be getting livelier. There you go, it's selfie time. Wow, look at this guy's dress sense. Cat suit. Emma Peel will be proud of him. Don't know who Emma Peel is? Google it. I actually tried some of the free food on offer and it was quite nice. All the curry was nice anyway. All this is for, you know, a young girl's birthday. So, well, you know, good for that anyway. Oh, heavens above. Look at these here. Rough. God, don't they look rough? Are they a couple of Kirby beds? Yeah, she's definitely from Kirby.
Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this brief look at Kosamui's nightlife. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Have a great day, a great evening, or whatever you're doing, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.